November the 26th, 2022. Today, I will re-record the video, which did not somehow come out, just as I was promised by the police, the case it's going to be. That's quite interesting. I am referring to the audio which I have obtained at a police station in Novo Mesto and which I already have placed online. This is me right here. I video recorded like this. No, you cannot hear uh, me. To hide his identity. Then you can hear possible. me again. But this is basically the way it started. I got to inform you that a few minutes ago when I started doing this video again, it was the same thing that happened again. Just as exactly as you see here, it appears somebody have connected himself to my computer and again started to fuck with my OBS uh, recorder and do his shit. Then what I did was I reset it one twice and it appears now it's again working as it should. What you see here I have posted this is right there one day ago. Yup. It was a problem, it didn't work. And uh I am definitely referring to video in which I have exposed as it says right there either head of the Novo Mesta General Crime Investigation Police Unit or head of the police investigators um, this was uh, an individual involved in my in um, not my case but in crime against me since 1995 since i was brought from united states from miami right here to slovenia this was one of the top people involved in crime against me except that he got ahead by playing a nice guy uh, believe it or not Till 2006, uh, he played a really, really nice guy. Actually, 2005, excuse me, 2004. Uh, it's like this. Um, So, we have this stuff recorded on what clearly appears to be November the 24th, 2022 at the police station here in the Novo Mesto. Uh, let's look at a little bit, let's play a little bit with the time. Uh, that's for, it was on a Thursday and now is a Saturday. Okay, so this was about a day ago. But when I came back from the city, I threw this right online. Yeah, this is a main police station here in the city of the Novo Mesto. And I really don't like that, but I do have to connect myself to the internet. Um, uh, this is... A very difficult issue for me to talk about, first of all. A uh, very difficult issue because it's a very, very difficult person I am going to be talking to you about, whom I have managed to identify, whom I have managed in a big way to fuck that day. This is the person for whom Americans claimed me was the most dangerous individual of the police, next to the police director. And that's basically because 
They were afraid that uh, I'm going to go and hammer one at the police station if I only would see one. No, they, they were afraid that I'm going to lose it if I go to the police station, if I see this guy and start beating the fuck out of him. That's why this was probably the most dangerous individual at the police. Maybe even more dangerous than uh, director of the police itself. That's how much crime this guy committed against me. Now, I did set torture feelings on the side and have reasonably grabbed his mask of the face right in front of the police station, right where he anticipated it's going to be an incident. He waited for me to come out, according to MK Ultra scenario that day. It's very unpleasant that somebody goes on a computer, on an OBS actually, because you're connected to a fucking internet, and then they play monkey with you when you're doing stuff like this that you don't want to really think about. What you want to do is you want to record this shit and you don't want to think about stuff like this. Doing it again is not a very pleasant thing to do, but in this case it was actually useful because I managed to recall a few other issues that did not come to me immediately and that's a really, really good thing. Immediately, immediately about exactly who this guy was. I know he is a piece of shit. I know that he is a criminal, but I didn't know what kind of criminal this is. This is one of the worst that was involving case. And uh, on November the 24th, as I approached this police station, I was just going past this police station. This is a very dangerous stuff. It just happened so that So this is this is your novel master right here. City of the novel master. I'm gonna zoom myself out so that you see where exactly I'm at. Then I am going to zoom myself a little closer to the area where the main police station is. Very, very, very unpleasant thing for me to do. Re-record the video about this guy. Trust me, I am not happy about doing that. And that's that here. It's called Kochever Street. That's a police station right here that you see I demonstrated you. And through the Google Street Maps, that's the police station. What you see right there is the entrance for the general public. And because I have seen some um, advertisement here in the window, and because the entrance uh, to the lobby area appears to be quite the same as the one here for the general public, I was eventually hoping I would get some more information on advice they offer right here, some brochures or something like that. I wanted to inform myself, see what is in here. But the door was locked. And then it came to me immediately, actually, as this guy, as soon as I was trying to go inside, this guy was waiting for me to try to go inside. He appeared right on the door exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. They had me here in front of the police station, inside of this police department, particularly next to him, and they exercised violence on me. In and out, in and out, in and out. How are you gonna, I'm gonna come out, you're gonna try to get in, and this and that, and then when we meet, and you remember, and this and that. What exactly he wanted me to remember? Oh, okay, that's where it starts, this video. This meeting was a MK Ultra setup that could have uh, ended in a very, very, with a very, very uh, serious consequences that day. This here, this is uh, administration, basically. 
where administration building is. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out, the cable, nice, thank you. It looks like I'm still recording, that's a good thing. Well, this individual was a very nice individual with me, nice individual in terms of he played a guy that would not physically uh, death threaten me physically uh, use force on me physically do stuff that other police officers have done uh, in that sense I can say that until year 2004 in 2004 however he committed a very heavy crime I don't know what it was but it was psychologically extremely extremely abusive painful and have left me with a very very bad memory on one He also came up with idea that I need to return back from the United States of America already so that he can get promotion. And his promotion was based on ability to place me in the jail. I said 2004. It started already in 2002 with director of police. He had this guy Olai, and he had this guy Ogulin, and he wanted the promotion badly. Uh, and his promotion depended wholly, entirely on ability to destroy me. That's why I said earlier that uh, this directly related to my life in the United States of America. Regretfully, I have to say that it was Central Intelligence Agency in the United States of America and Federal Bureau of Investigations, which hijacked me from Miami, Florida, and brought me to the Novo Mesto with the idea to subject me to death, basically. Um, they tortured me for no less than 11 years on what they have through forced joblessness through set of impossible circumstances managed to force me to return back to Europe and it was all job wise and as I returned back to Europe in 2006 uh, Slovenian police with this guy this guy was ahead of abuse of torture against me performed uh, God knows just how many torture scenarios no no the torture scenarios at the police station started already since 1995 this was just nothing other than the police it was just the death threats of torture beatings rights to the Serbia to the Bosnia and stuff like that this is nothing to talk about uh, with the police, I was just transferred to areas throughout Slovenia, and they would participate, observe, um, interrogate people right on the spot. Uh, I mean, incredible, incredible stuff. I, it's, it's actually incredible. I don't want to go into it because it's too much, but, what pertains to this guy in particular, this guy started to dream about promotion since 2002, which I think it was Director Ogulin at that time that promised him this promotion. You know, he got in his head in 2002, he's going to get promoted, a better paid job and stuff like that. So he started to hate crime against me on behalf of Director Police. It was just basically something they divided. He was not the only one. The other one was all Gulin and so on and so forth. But this guy was already heading certain crime against me 
and charged himself for crime against me and took holy responsibility for it. Sometimes in 2004, he started to commit stuff that was incredibly, incredibly abusive and surprising to me. Surprising to me because this supposedly is Slovenian native, you know, born here like myself. Uh, and so you wouldn't give a card that this is guy actually is a collaborator with the Serbian Chetniks, with the Russians against you, that his plan is actually to get you murdered here for somebody from Serbia, from Russia. You wouldn't give him a credit for that, but this is assassin. One of the people, native people here. And so an individual started to perform more and more crime against me, which exploded in 2005. Uh, because if I repeat the words of this guy, he already wants me back to Slovenia. He is, uh, I'm fucking tired of you. I want you already back in Slovenia so I can destroy you. That's how it was under MK Ultra when I was brought from hijacked, abducted from Miami, from Florida to, to Slovenia. This is what I got. And they set me up with dead meetings, even at the employment, state employment agency in Novo Mesto, when an individual who was involved in crime against me, for as long as I know, building located next to the grammar school which I attended in the city of the Novo Mesto. This was Ud by individual, Ud by is like a KGB individual since the times of Yugoslavia, uh, that I already have got to know since my childhood. Uh, he was next to the school and uh, he was the guy that the fucking teachers were afraid of, okay, the Gurm. Not a good person at all. And that's why the police attempted to set me up uh, for a really, really nasty meeting with this individual. They invested an enormous amount of torture in 2005 and in 2006, and it just didn't come out. You know, that morning when I popped up over there to report myself as a job seeker, uh, it just did not add together when this guy insulted me in the face that I'm nobody and uh, hey, you know, that I'm a loser, that he knows my sister, that she's not, that I don't have even the right to report myself as a job seeker, visit state employment agency and stuff like that. Right outside, they had few police cars. I think four police cars were parked right outside of the building, just waiting to get in and get me. Yeah, this is the way it was. This is, this is the guy who was doing the stuff like this. And so, Things didn't come out for him. It didn't happen. Um, I did return from the United States of America. And um, it was 2006. And he got promotion about uh, three months earlier. But he did the promotion, as they told me, they did it in a such a way that... It would appear on the record, record-wise, it would appear as just about when I came, uh, when I returned already back from the United States of America, which I think was uh, in the August of 2006, so that I would not be capable to prove. What exactly I mean by this, when I say stuff like this, he went on for a training you don't get the position like he has, a top position over there just like this. And he was a subject to a training. He had to train himself. He had to go through what we say pre for, for this new position. However, this training of his, I think, already started in 2005. He would train himself next to the police director, with police directors and so on. 
However, he managed to pass something like this. It was like three months before I came back from the United States. And then he officially started on this position, in my opinion, because they didn't want to, they wanted to hide, they wanted to cover up absolutely everything about what went on once I already returned back. So they, they wouldn't say that, uh, you know, that I wouldn't say that he got promotion exactly on this place before I, he was very attentive to that. He alerted me that I'm not going to be able to prove and la, 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 la. So in 2006, this bastard increased torture, psychological torture pressure on me to degree that it was in 2006 when they hijacked me. See, they had me hijacked all the time, jacked up. Here in Slovenia too, the same thing. Uh, brought me to the police station, drugged up in 2006, I think, already. Um, this no longer was any nice guy. Since 2004, I could no longer bear one. But in 2006, I think it was when I told him, uh, once I came to Slovenia, he basically told me to fuck off. The only thing that's going to happen is now you're here, now I will destroy you. And I told him, yeah, the only thing that's going to happen is, I told him, boy, uh, and I want you to hear this, I'm going to fucking hammer you down in front of this police station here. I'm going to get you here inside of this police station, boy, and rip you apart, you and your buddies. Because... I pursued police, law enforcement career in the United States without any fucking mercy, despite the crime police was involved against me. Without mercy, boy. And when I saw shit like this coming in my face, I was so confident, I was so absolutely sure he's mine. If he will continue to go this way, if I will be forced eventually to meet one day face to face, I will not let him get away. We will meet. And you won't be able to do absolutely anything about it. This is something I was so certain about that no matter what is the same thing I have told other police investigators. I will get you all from the first to the last. And they played stupid shit even more so involving physical conflicts at the police station. Drugged up as I was, I always <coughs> uh, have fallen prey to these police officers. However, this shit, violent shit they have, they were doing it to me on a police station, uh, could very easily have ended in the future like the day, two days ago on Thursday. This was the fear of Americans in a serious uh, physical confrontation. If, um, of course, I would not, I'm not so stupid, I'm going to go and uh, assault police officer at a police station when I clearly know, and it was people who let me know, that even for saying mentioning any kind of violence issues in respect to police station, any kind of threats, they would go and use a silicon masks, video record me. As a matter of fact, video record someone using the silicon mask of me, which absolutely they have it. I was even told they already have done it. Because they had me, the police, and they they were doing the stuff with me. I remember I wrestled in at the entrance of the police at this here, in this place here, with uh, with the police investigators here. It already was. It will. It goes back in time, but it was all kinds of shit that went on. Yeah. that the only thing they would have to do is basically dispatch patrol after me 
and come basically, in other words, to pick me up at some location in the city or even at home claiming that I assaulted somebody or something like that. This is pretty much exactly how it is done. This is how they do it. That basically is what their plan was for me. So, this meeting on November the 24 with this criminal, which he have exactly described on how we're going to meet, how I'm going to, exactly in the moment when I'm going to try to go inside, that he's going to come out, and it's something he have used at his advantage. That's automatic door that closes. Uh, he tortured, he embedded all kinds of issues in that automatic door. Uh, he made it in a, such a way that you would want to go basically tear down those fucking doors to get inside the building to get him. That's how they do it. Uh, so, they instill inside of you the feelings you're not even aware of it. Those are like a reflex. Uh, like, you know, if, if, if you would use a hammer, if I would put you here on a, on an elbow or on a knee, and you would get like, your hand would just, uh, respond with, with reflex. That's the type of shit they do to you time and again to get the reaction they need. Of course, this is a heavily monitored area too. At the given moment, and then you're fucked. If they get what they anticipate, will get you jailed in this case. Yeah. So he exited out with his buddy and he mumbled some stuff that should trigger the memories on torture about me. For which one he also had a backup backdoor scenario. What I mean by the backdoor scenario, every abuse they have created for every abuse scenario. They have protected themselves, video recorded themselves twice. <laughs> I don't know if they even video recorded the abuse, the torture, but I know that the backdoor scenario should remind me of some other stuff and some other stuff and some other stuff. He didn't have to worry about it that day. He was just trying to get past me, see how much I actually even remember him. This is just so much back in time. All through, he would appear since 2006. Once I returned to Slovenia, this guy became, especially once I threatened him in 2006, this became the most frequent visitor right here inside of the house that would engage in psychological torture with the uh, police investigators. And he was extremely, extremely thorough. He wanted me dead, man. This guy was breaking balls to police investigators. I remember him when he would come inside of this room. Did you do this to him? Did you do that? Did we do that? We talk about that. He became obsessed with the idea to destroy me, this individual. That's the fucking guy I met. This is also an individual who stated me, I will never ever make it through. Um... He had some ideas about how he made uh, contract deals they already have made with other people from abroad and this and that, blah, 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 blah. This is what it was like. So I'm just going to go now to November the 24. And I said earlier that I fucked him that day. Badly I fucked him. Uh, he was not in a mood really. To even answer questions and not because to make things interesting or something like that but I literally pulled the mask of his face So I'm looking at the uh, uh, like the posters that they have post inside of the windows, and just as I try to step in, 
Guala, bam. And I say to him, good day, good day, is it already closed down? And he goes, and he immediately starts to direct me at this building here, that this is the building for the general public. Now, I know all through he is pretty confident and sure, I don't fucking know shit, but I know him immediately from somewhere. I just need to profile the guy, who the guy is, where exactly do I know one from? He says, uh, yeah, I said, I know, I know, I know, this is administration building, I know, I know. Yeah, he, he, he insists for me to go to this building rather than the one that you have seen right there. He says, yeah, he says, and, and what do you need? And he, he wears a civil clothing, just like the one, the guy right there, you see, just a regular civil clothing, uh, like a police investigator, on the cover. I said, I said to him, no, 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 nothing. I said, I'm, I, I just observed this uh, advertisement you have in the windows and stuff like this, and I wonder if I could get some brochures, see your lobby and stuff like that. She was just trying to get some information, inform myself about what you have here, if you have something inside and so on, also for public. <laughs> Yeah, just go to the building, this building here. And I said to him, oh, I say, thank you very much, thank you very much. And he is happy, he goes his way quickly. Uh, one of his colleagues already went out, and that colleague, however, still remains close to him. And I say, hold on a moment, please, sir. Uh, I just want to ask you a question, you know, because the two were just about ready to disappear. He was already there at the, uh, at the garage, to, going toward the garage. I said, just, just one thing, please. You know, I told him I can still recall you. You know, I said I, 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 I still remember you. I tell him slowly. I tell him. Uh, and at this point in time, you know, uh, I do this in a such a way that I go slow, uh, maybe even a little bit what somebody could maybe think a little bit confusing or something like that in a, in a, that way, but that's that's when you already are mine. Uh, I do this kind of approach because that's when I start to wade in and I started to exercise authority over this guy right there at the police station. I'll fucking let you go away with it. How that's done? Well, his concept was based on seeing me and disappearing me. In other words, in front of the cameras, to have cameras video record him, dance in front of me, talk to me, as what he would refer in the future, the court. I was there, and you, we remember, we spoke, and you didn't recognize me. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh well, for that stuff to realize, yeah, for him to realize that, and I know all this stuff at that point. I know, I know his game, just as he does. For that, for him to realize, he have to stop, and he have to give me, he have to dedicate me that moment in which... Hopefully for him, I would go and fuck myself, ask him something that would confirm maybe even better for him. So 
that somehow I do not really, really, really remember him or something like that. You see, this is a game, that kind of game that is. And so let's see how that game develops further. I tell him, you see, I remember you. I go just as I told you. Uh, and I said, from what I can recall, you are actually a police investigator. And in fact, you should be a substitute. The, sub the top substitute of the boss of the police, something like that. Not just an ordinary police investigator. Uh, isn't that truth, I say? And what he says to me is, what is your last name? And I said, Bustian Alsets. I give him my name, my first and my last name. Yeah. He says, he says to me in a tone, uh, actually, what is your last name? You know, it's like, I'm asking you right now, what is your last name? Basically in that sense, yeah? And, you know, we understand each other. And he says, aha, you are from a Kirka. A Kirka is exactly where I am from. This is the street, this street, it used to be village before. Yes, it is Kirka. And um, he does so because he promised me he would do so to remind me, uh, basically to help me with pointing out that he knows something about this case. Well, you know, with the amount of proofs I already have about the police. What makes it exceptional in this case is the fact that I have managed to identify probably most of the police investigators without even seeing them on my news side. Well, to, uh, ident to identify the police officers without even seeing them the way I did is exceptional work in this case. It is much more exceptional than what any psychiatrist or psychologist would even understand. Because these police officers that were involved in MK Ultra were everything but pleasant. These police officers were involved investigators. They were involved anywhere from death threats, all of them, all the way to psychological abuse, physical abuse. Uh, and that's just something when somebody tells you, especially that they are not going to know you, especially when they tell you, uh, don't even think about repeatedly over the course of the years, not very encouraging language. Probably a lot of ladies and probably more feminine guys uh, would soften their stance so much because that's what it counts in MK Ultra when you try to catch a bad guy that did bad stuff to you that it takes away from you the possibility, the guts, when you when you take away from somebody the guts for one to start to think about something, that guy is not going to even get any kind of fucking clue about anything. You basically, you brain kill the memory because you close the window. You give him so many predispositions for the bad scenario like the Serbs did, death scenarios, all kinds of stuff like this, that you wouldn't even go and think about it. In other words, you would never get any fucking place. In the end, you would get to marry some Serbian woman or some Russian woman or something like this. That you wouldn't even consider in, in anywhere, basically, in, in, in your fucking 
I don't know what. You can end up with something that would never ever be your life choice under any circumstances. I have endured that shit for 26 years. Those are death threats, terror, all kinds of stuff like this. They play down person. They brain kill you. This was a brain killer, this guy. So he knew immediately that what is standing in front of him is actually somebody who is tearing him apart right there. He knew immediately it was the judge that was standing in front of him. He knew immediately he was in the hands of investigators. Investigator playing with his brain, playing with his sanity. He knew who the fuck I was that day. He knew we met. He knew this by based on what I told you earlier. This is when investigator catches investigator, basically. And in this case, it just happens to be one of the top bosses of the police. No, he didn't help me anything by, by saying that I'm from Kirka. He said he's going to say that you're from Kirka, and he said that he read my complaint, and this, this should be a help to you. Fuck that. That, that, that's not any, that gives me something that it gives him the ability, as I stated before, for the back door. Remember when I mentioned the back door scenario? The back door scenario is if it just happens so that a person gets to the certain degree level, some way, somehow, if you did not play him down his expectations enough and he somehow gets there, accomplishes that level, it's always good to have a back door. That's basically used to misguide the person. That's used for an individual to see it. A psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, referred to that as... Um, traction, the ability for, it's not always about pushing one down or something like this, but it's very, very important to give an individual something that, uh, what is, they would do is they would do crazy stuff. They would, they would have people walk in your face when you're going to see this guy, when you see this, that means this and this and this and this. When you're going to see the, uh, a truck with something like this, that means da 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 When mama places this stuff to you, it's going to mean da 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 We are coming for you, whatever it is. Here and there, where this shit doesn't work anymore, where you just keep going through this, this shit just goes past you, and you just go straight on a target, and they have no traction, is what I'm trying to say. It's important to involve some stuff that will make you think that these people are actually on the side with you. That's how they polarize people. That's how they create mental patients, basically. That's how people mistaken abuse for assistance. It's an extremely important part of crime, in crime known as MKUltra. And so an individual have inserted for himself some stuff that supposedly would make me feel good because otherwise I cannot interpret it, that he knew where the fuck I'm from and that I submitted a complaint. This is really, really stupid. Uh, it's not a secret. But I'm determined to pull the mask off his face because he knows that I know who he is based on what I stated that he is a substitute of the main boss in the building, in investigation department, uh, this is already game over for him. But I'm determined to get that other stuff uh, all through. I was, I have to admit, not capable to pull, luckily also for me, um... How much would that have influence if I would have recalled uh, his attempts 
to destroy me in 2006 and definitely upon my return from United States of America after 11 and a half years I have spent in the U.S.? Not really. This is the stuff that really doesn't affect me in absolutely any way because I'm very professional because I know that I have to get pay. I cannot go and limit myself to anger outbursts or something like that and the truth is that you can only go as far as you have information, as far as you, excuse me, as far as your information memories are useful to you. It makes no sense to keep the contact, to talk, blah, whatever, uh, shoot in a blank, basically, not knowing where the fuck you do or what you do uh, without having interest from that stuff. Uh, you actually even discredit yourself, yeah? So... No, not really. Even like this, I wouldn't go and ask him, basically say, you are such and such and such and such and such. Um, as a matter of fact, probably I would. You know, if it, if it would come to me, I probably would go and point finger at him and say to him, you know, uh, you did this and this and this and this and this and this to me right there on the cameras in front of the police station. But regardless of it, I did manage to further pull down a mask of his face by pointing out the year of his promotion he got for the mansion job. And that changed the whole thing. It took the whole thing to the next level. That was not a good news for him. That was definitely not a good news, not for him, not for his bosses, uh, not for anybody that have any kind of hope for anything in this case. So let's see how that went along. He says, well, he said, well, yeah, I, I remember that you wrote something and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I said, sure, you, you definitely should, should remember me. I know that he was with investigators. I know that he was meeting me inside of this uh, home here and this and that. I know that we met at the police station, but I have to admit, I did not know that he was a mastermind behind idea to actually destroy me, which was kind of a good that I didn't recall exactly that he was the one that pressured police officers also. So he sort of shared collateral crime against me with his superiors, let's say, yeah? Uh, and then I said, uh, I, I decided to to get the information as I stated, and um, he is he he is really really just he needs to get the fuck out. He wants to disappear as fast as possible. He said, "Just tell me what you need, because uh, you know he's like I'm in a hurry. I gotta go home." Basically, this this is what he wants. He wants to disappear the beach as fast as possible. His colleague, however, is still there. You know. He says, I, I got to go home. I got to hurry. I got to go home. I said, you have a university degree, right? And you got promoted, I remember. I said, I, said, I remember that you have a university degree. And I also remember that you got promoted. I said, just a moment, let me tell you when you got promoted. And I, I use this, you know, I use this language. Uh, let me recall. Let me recall. I said, it must have been already in year 2008. So this is very, very important for me to repeat. I, I state to him, it must have been already, right? When I say already, that means either in 2008, 
as a matter of fact, it must have been already in 2008 means in 2008 it was 100%, but there is a possibility you already got one before, like 2007, 2006 in that sense, yeah? But it must have been in 2008, I said to him. Now he's all fucking confused. Now he knows that that is the end of the road. And I continue to melt him down and I say, uh, I told him in 2008, that's when you became, <laughs> what I do is, I continue to melt him down in terms as I have described a little earlier, just as investigators would do to somebody that are willing to uh, to psychologically exploit him as much as possible. Very slowly I continue uh, to say and continue to, to act a bit confused to see how he's going to react to that. Uh, I said in 2008, therefore, it must have been already in 2008 that you got promoted into a substitute or assistant as high of the police director, basically, that you are just somewhere right below the police in 2008. And... Uh, and he said, so what do you need? He said, what do you need? But well, this was this, this, this stuff like this. How can I say? His answer indicates to me a confusion. His answer indicates to me, um, the intersection which clearly suggests what the fuck am I going to do now? Do I proceed toward the garage? How the fuck I close this and get out of here? Or do I answer the guy? Of all these three, he already indicated that he knows I am from the Kirka and that he also knows that I have submitted some kind of a writing to the police. So chances are I will get the answer eventually. And I do this in a such a way because this is all monitored. And of course also a recorded, audio recorded, that he is really not left with much choice. I said, no, I said, that's the only thing I wanted to ask you. <laughs> then I assert authority in him. And I, now I say to him, was it like that? No? That's how I do the stuff. <laughs> and uh, I laughed at that. He said, uh, he said, not exactly like this, he says, really. He says, I am a, I'm a lead for a general crime at the police station. Okay, so... So he says, Vodja od Delka za splošni kriminal. Uh, he is a head of the department for a crime on general. So I said then I I really did really really well I told him. You know because I already threw the date on uh, and really, 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 
there is no escape. I play a little bit and then I save and so and this was what then about in 2008 uh, I I don't know what he says I don't I don't need, I, I don't know what he says he says no whatever he's very disapproving you can hear he's disappointed then he comes out and eventually says it was in 2006 <laughs> He says, uh, I don't know, maybe two years. When I ask him, how much did I go wrong in respect to 2008? He says, maybe two years. He still appears like he's confused, like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I'm very, very determined to get the information, the confirmation from here, how he got promoted in 2008. Uh, so what we have spoken about, his promotion, I want to get confirmation plain clear confirmation that it was in 2008 when he got promoted what he's what he already responded 2006 that i went wrong in 2000 uh in two years that i missed well two years at uh, today now it's 2022 it's almost 2023 i'm sure you're aware uh well that's not really so bad if you go back in time, almost 15 years, point missing out on only two years, and you were drugged up when that took place eventually. That's pretty fucking good. He says that it was not, it was not, no way, it was not in 2008. No, 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 he's laughing. So I, I, I want to hear from here, how, how much earlier was it? How much, how much? He is very, very disapproving, very disapproving. It would make me feel like I don't fucking know anything what the fuck I'm talking about. He says 2006. I said, oh, okay, so then I did very well. And he goes his way. Yeah, so that was it, uh, that pretty much was it. I don't have anything else I would add to this video. It was psychologically quite challenging despite everything because the German have allowed himself to use disrespectful approach toward the situation. He treated me like a little boy. But when we're going to meet next time, it's going to be in the court of law with the other police present, state prosecutors, and I promise you it's going to be fun. That's when you no longer will treat me like a little boy. Uh, the only thing I will do at this point in time, I will play you this audio one more time in Slovenian language. Now, this is translated. Obviously, I have identified individual a little bit more in respect to 2005 and 2006, exactly how he got promoted when he got idea even about the promotion and all that stuff, how it all started uh, and why and how it all turned out to be and what exactly they hoped for. Uh, and that's all there is. I'm going to pay you this audio one more time. Okay, since we are doing this stuff already, 
why don't I demonstrate you a little bit what the day looked like anyways? Because I have a lot of audio recordings and before this guy, I have identified another lady I came across. And then at the postal office, through the lady who was involved in MKUltra, I have identified another lawyer who also was involved in MKUltra. So that you get an idea that this is not bullshit. That this is just one guy. The last time he treated me like a child, and it's going to be expensive. Okay, okay, this is a couple, mom and daughter, that I have failed to identify. Uh, I failed to identify in a sense that the mother lived very close by and the daughter had to drive uh, from quite far away from the distance and they like to meet here at this place here at the Gram and they go to drink I did I failed I didn't do very well Um, simple, on my way to the police, not really to the police station, but to change my power bank, uh, which was again sold to me, a uh, broken power bank, and the store is not too far from the police, uh, I have gone through what is known as Arago Lock here, Arago Ski Most. Is something exactly to be precise location would be here like this this here would be it and uh, right here uh, it's just a really really beautiful cat uh, and uh, I just happened so to like cats and um, I see this cat here and I see the lady is working Oh, look at the lady. The lady is right here. You can see her. Look at her. She is right here. Okay. Uh, so, exactly the same thing that you see here. Except that I was interested in a cat. But otherwise, this is, these are apartments here. These are, these are like apartment buildings here. Okay. If you go here, that's basically what that looks like.
Okay. Oh, let me see this. Maybe this is shit too. Uh, that I don't know, but I know about the garden that I demonstrated you. I, I know about this was audio recorded the same day as two. Afterwards, I have met this police officer, and I see this lady, beautiful lady with a beautiful cat here, and I decided to pet a little bit the cat, play with a little bit with the cat, and exchange words with the lady, and we start the talk. She cannot gratify cat more than what she did. She loves her cat, and the cat is incredible. The cat is just loves that mom uh cat doesn't want to go anywhere cat just want to give company to mom uh it's like a dog more like than cat and uh doesn't mind when i pet her too <laughs> so the lady uh and uh, her son, the family were involved in MK Archer. I'm going to tell you straight. A lot, a lot of people were involved in it. Uh, so I'm going to use this as an MK Archer proof. And I'm going to use this recording also as an MK Archer proof. This is the same recording. This is just what you have seen earlier that was extracted out. So... So the lady is saying the cat doesn't go anywhere. The cat does not go anywhere. It does not go on the other, on the other end of this bridge is a, like a beautiful forest right there. But the cat doesn't care. The cat just is a homestay cat and uh, next to her mama, and that's it. They're all the time together. She catches some mouse, and that's about it. Up to the Kirka River, that's all. Uh, so what I do is I point exactly the apartment she is in. I tell her this is the lower, exactly this apartment right in the corner right next to uh, where we are at right now. Uh, basically, that would be exactly this unit here. I was, they had me already inside during MK Archer. And she confirms this. She says yes. I tell her right down below, right here. You know, you know, she says yes, yes, yes. Okay, so there you have it. The lady already is identified from the building. I said, I remember, and she says, really? She says, good. She says, did you come for a visit here to this building? And I'm laughing. I said, something like that. She says, did you live here? And she's like, we don't know each other, you know. I will. That's what everybody does. The, uh, I, I tell her when we met inside of this building uh, I was not even here I told her I was not in Slovenia I was I used to live yes but it was in Miami in the United States of America but I told her but I remember very clearly I told her she says, yeah, it's possible, she says. I told her, there is one more thing, just a moment, just one more thing. I told her, you do have a sister, am I correct? And uh, she says, yes, I do have a sister. So, bam, bingo, that's another bingo right there. Uh -huh. 
I told her I also remember your all of your neighbors. She says, well, which neighbors do you remember? She starts giving me the names. I say to her, I don't, I don't know who these people. Ah, uh, what I'm trying to say, I don't know what their last name is. And she started to give me the last names. I don't, I don't know. The only thing I know is she was the only Slovenian speaking person. She was the only Slovenian person. That's the only thing I know. I told her, from what I can recall, I had a feeling at the time that you were the only Slovenian person inside of this building. Actually, excuse me, next to the two other neighbors here. She says, uh, well, uh, um, the mistake I have not made when I said I was in Miami, 95 and all this, 96, 97, 98, I did not make any mistake. She says, yeah, I moved here inside in 85. So, yeah, of course, I was correct. I told her 95, 96, 97, 98 I had a feeling you are the only uh, person like this Slovenian uh, speaking person here she said yeah it's possible it's possible well it's very very possible <laughs> it's very very possible because what I have stated right now, uh, anybody that would uh, side with me in a situation like this, if it would have been Slovenian, uh, Milan Kuchan would immediately destroy him. Bord Pahor, police, Udba, they surveillance police, they, they, they were right next to it and they bugged me and they listened absolutely everything that went on. And as soon as somebody would see it my way, immediately would come and destroy one, claiming that he is a Slovenian a nationalist, that he is a Nazi, basically, a separatist and all kinds of stuff like this they were doing. This is exactly one thing when they were trying to do the same thing to this lady they did to many people. They got fucked. But that's because her husband was from Sarajevo and the lady was like a tank even her husband had to learn Slovenian language everybody that spoke with her regardless of from wherever they were they had to speak Slovenian language she was boy like a tank uh, when Milan Kuchan, when Borut Pahar tried to fuck with her police, they got fucked by uh, other people involved in MK Ultra. Immediately they got fucked. That's when they got the knowledge as a Nazis. That's when they got the knowledge as a fascists. Because she was married with a guy, with a Bosnian guy from Sarajevo. Serbs were trying to convince everybody about what I stated. But they couldn't convince her that something was wrong with her. She, after, she, after all, had a child with a man from Bosnia over there, from Sarajevo. So... So I tell her, so that's, it doesn't matter, but from what I can recall her, it's exactly what I stated. The lady was like a tank. The lady was impenetrable. Uh, 
I used to have a husband, she tells me, who was from Sarajevo. But then she tells me exactly what I stated. Everybody, whoever wanted to speak with her, had to speak Slovenian language. She demanded this. Her son also had to learn Slovenian language. This is just the way it was. This is just the way she was. Uh, this, even worse yet, this used to be an officer in the Yugoslav army. So, saying something like this against her, uh, it would, uh, well, um, that you would say that something is wrong with her, you would have to go to visit a psychiatrist afterward. If somebody that, let me explain something here, let me be, psychiatrists destroyed people. A lot of people, on behalf of Kuchan, on behalf of Pahor, with the use of the police, claiming that people that interacted with me were nationalists, etc., etc., etc. They jumped on her, too, because she was proud of her native language, Slovenian language here. They tried to get her, too. In fact, they were sure, they already were proving to everybody that she is a Nazi, that she is a nationalist. And the more they proved, they tried to prove this, the more they fucked themselves. Because it came out that her husband, after all, was from Sarajevo. That's from Bosnia. And further, this was an officer in the Yugoslav army. This was the guy... Do you understand what I'm trying to say? That's the, that's the lady that had a power, actually, to send a psychiatrist to psychiatrist. They stepped on a very thin ice back then because of this lady. It was a big debate, and it was exactly this debate. It was like, really, a police officer whom they have used to stink they have had uh, such a bandits that is impossible to describe. It was not the police, it was criminals, it was hooligans, bandits, liars, killers, people who sentenced people to death, literally through psychiatry, worse than KGB, that would be next to me when I keeping me drugged up here in Slovenia. That's what Americans did here when they brought me from Miami. This is what the fuck they created. And it was exactly this lady that started the resistance in the city of the Novo Mester against the police. It was exactly this lady that set the people of the Novo Mesto from complete crazy hypnosis, depression they have fallen into, up from their knees so they started to actually wake up and think where the fuck they are what nationality they are even in what country they are this is how fucked up the situation was with the police in Novo Mesto in 95 and 96 and 97 till this lady 98 she was the one she started the resistance against this Udba people here in Novo Mesto So, I, I, I was trying to say to her, you know, this is a very nice lady, I, I was trying to, to say to her, she got upset because of these things, and she got a whole right to be upset about it. I the, the point here is that I was trying to say, you know, that we all get along with one another, right, so that you don't take advantage 
as the bigger one against the smaller one. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, but it's always the bigger that should give advantage to the smaller one and that the whole society should grow together. And it was not the case, you know. So this is just a, a lady whom gladly I'm going to embed also in this video in respect to police because this is the lady that set a very decisive step here in the city of the Novo Mesto in minds of the people. Because <laughs> what I have seen here in the city of the Novo Mesto was a complete, com a total compliance with the, with the, uh, Slobodan Milosevic, uh, with uh, Radovan Karadzic, with the, with the Serbian psychiatrist Radovan Karadzic. The, the, the people indicted to the court for war crimes in Hague basically were coming here to the Novo Mesto uh, to tutor people together with Milan Kuchan, with Borat Pahor, with the police here on how to see things in Slovenia. No, mislim, ne, nisam, 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 jaz nisam na desu, ne, mislim, jaz ne čutim, mislim, vsak ni mora, pa je, mislim, na desu. Pa, pa na sami povedam, ni, ne. Tu je, ne, tu je, da ne, tu je, da ne, mora da bi tu je, ne, ja, ja. Tu je in prijatno, in ljudno, in, in jezik, in vse. To je, če se 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 ti s človekom pogovarjam. Uh, this lady, this lady is just, uh, exceptionally kind with the people. This lady has exceptionally good relationship with the neighbors, with everybody in the city, regardless of their background. It's just that she feels very strong about Slovenian language, about Slovenia, about her heritage, about her mother, about how she was brought up and so on. And that's how she wanted her son, uh, also to speak Slovenian language and be proud of his heritage, Slovenian heritage. In other words, the lady is trying to say, I am not going to take shit from anybody. I was born here, my mom, my dad, uh, and my son, regardless of the father, uh, who was from Bosnia, from city of the Sarajevo, also will speak Slovenian language without fear. Will live here basically without fear, without being, fear from being persecuted, basically. That's what she is trying to say. We are joking a little bit about the age, how we are getting older and so on, and we have to be outside on air. Uh, exercise and stuff like that. And the next thing I asked her, I said, if I can properly recall, I also recall that you are from the village, right? Am I correct that you are also from the village? You are out of the city. You are not in the city. You are from some kind of village outside of the city. 
Yeah, and also from the farm. You have like a farm, you're from out of the city, somewhere in the village, away from the city, and you also have a farm. And she says, uh, she says, yes, she says, I am from what is known as a Dolge. Uh, Dolge. Okay, so Dolge is something like this. Uh, this is exactly what I have stated. Um, this is quite far away, really, from the city. Uh, quite far away, really, really far away from the city. Actually, how far away is this from the city? You know, it depends how you see it, but if I demonstrate to you, it looks like this, this Dolge. You see those hills, those mountains? Uh, that's pretty much what that is. This is uh, up in the hills, uh, quite away from the city, with a beautiful views, a beautiful place uh, for hiking, for the mountain hiking. Um, and basically, this is this is where she is from. This is a very beautiful place. I go uh, whenever I go to Goryansi. Oftentimes, I I, I went. Uh, past here okay so so far I pointed out which apartment she is in inside of the apartment building I demonstrated you uh, I pointed out the year 95 96 97 98 she was uh, I pointed out um, that she had a sister um, I don't know if I pointed out, I think I did, that she had a son. What else did I point out? I pointed out that she originally is from out of the Novo Mesto, and uh, she really is away from Novo Mesto. I demonstrated you a few miles from Novo Mesto, okay? Now, if you would go and you would look uh, exactly... Uh, directions uh, then it would come to something like let's see this here well with a car it would give you about 12 and a half 16 kilometers something like that yeah about like 10 miles uh, but those are hills hilly ways before you get to the city so this was also very very beautiful uh, thing I have pointed out so that somebody would not doubt something about anything. Okay, so that they have a farm and stuff like this, that I did well too. Now, here I did go wrong, I stated, but your mom, your mom, I, I stated, her, she was very, very old. She she reached a very, very old age, your mom. And this is what I mistaken, the house, her house, with another house. Uh, she says, no, uh, she was 56. The problem here is that entire village was involved in this stuff. Yeah, um, it was also her neighbors, uh, her house in Cesare, the village. Let me demonstrate maybe even this. She said, however, mother passed at 56. So this is what I made a mistake. The mother did not. Yeah, yeah. 
estiverem com o mês, e tal, mas o mês com o mês, 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 com we talk about the cat and the truth is that I know for a cat that is exceptionally big exceptionally beautiful cat I like cats and but that cat I'm talking about looks just like this one but that cat is exceptionally big and nobody knows why that cat is so big people when I mentioned this to the lady she's sure that this is some kind of a different uh, race of the cat but the truth is, it's not. It's a, it's a regular cat, like other cats. But I have no idea what happened with that cat. That cat is just so big that she doesn't even care about the dogs. And that's actually true. And when I would go at night, in the middle of the night, uh, for a walk, that cat just comes out of nowhere to meet me and is completely not afraid of anything, not even cats that are, uh, dogs that are barking nearby. These are her neighbors, and there is nothing I possibly can do. These are her neighbors. The thing is, the lady made a mistake. She made a mistake because she she brought me to the neighbors. She made a mistake because she would leave me in the village. She would bring me there, and then she would let me to the neighbors. They would play with me. She quite oftentimes have, in fact, left me with the neighbors. And one time I was with this neighbor, another time she had me with another neighbor in this village. And uh, then you make a mistake. But she was about to tell they are from the center of the village, of this Doge village. It's actually a little house from what I can recall. That's when I make another mistake, talking about the young couple and uh, uh, stuff like this. Uh, I made a more mistake about it. Um, not true, not true, not true. If I had a chance to talk to her right now again, I would say... I would cast another bat and say to her that they renovated the house in Dolge in 2012, the, her son did. But it's too late, I'm not there. Just right now and as I go with this, I, I recall more stuff. And the, the stuff I was talking about was her neighbors, basically. But next time when I see the lady, I'm going to talk to her. I think her son renovated this building sometimes in 2012. And if I'm not even mistaken about that, 
I think her son would go and work in, I think it was something like a local factory, like even Renault, maybe something like this. Even that kind of stuff. That he had like a three-year education for some kind of a mechanic or something like that. Uh, maintenance mechanic, something like myself. Something like this. Um, that he was doing something like this too. If I had just a chance to see him, see this lady again and so on and so forth, I would cast a few more. I would point out a few more things. And I did. It's a second mistake. There's no young couple there. Um, it's interesting. There's more I pointed out. No, it's just no. Neighbors, neighbors. Old house. I said, but your son does have a family. Uh, and she says, yes, but uh, he is in, uh, she said some another name, Shant Lawrence. Uh, just a moment. Her son, I think, used to work in that and all, something like this. Mm, that's uh, very, very, very interesting now. That's getting very, very interesting. Shant Lawrence. I can't do anything about this stuff if I don't get the Google Maps at least. Mm, they had me all over this place. Every village, all these villages everywhere. Let's see this stuff here. So that I got an idea. I am not going to go and play with this. Let just uh, let me just. Um, um, this is exactly exactly the area where I think her son is from. This is very 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 familiar here to me. This stuff here. Um, and, um, I think that her son is in the house, maybe even this one here, like this, something like this, on this side of the street as you come. Shent Lawrence, yeah. What is it, it says here, Shent Lawrence 9, something like that, yeah. All this was involved in it. Everything. Her her son is what I think. If I would, if you would ask me, if I cast a bet, I would just go like this. Hoop, 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 hoop. Let me see. Let me see this. It's got to be here. Some house here. Maybe even in the back somehow. Maybe even in the back. Um, it, it's very, very possible because I remember the people would come from the back. They would come to the street. They would have me walk here in the street, you see, and the people would come down here. So it's very, very possible, in fact, that her son, who moved to the parents of the lady whom he married, uh, is this place here. Let's continue with this. So yes, he had a family. Yes, he does have a family. Let's let's uh, let's see what else.
tam zemlje je mjeg par put. Ustite da ti dođe se se vaše kuće je mjeg par. Mjeg par je. Male družina je za njeg. Vaša hiša, pa se ti se slede pala. Vaša hiša je tako starejša hiša. Se pravi, da pali, pa se ti pali se slede pala. I also described the house that she used to have. It was an old house. Yes, 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 yes. But I think they did something. I think they renovated one, something like this, uh, painted over or something like this in 2012. Uh, this is St. Lawrence here. Uh, the man who used to work in uh, IMV before. Uh, however, I think this is not her son. Uh, 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 um, a good friend that would come to meet me was in this house here. This is Dishant Lawrence that she mentioned. Uh, that's yet every one of these houses here. She just mentioned to me another village. Look, I'm again in another village. You know how far? Very, very far. And it's another MK Ultra territory that I know. They were involved before her son moved to this place. You're talking about 42 kilometers distance. You know, maybe every fucking village was involved in this MK Ultra. It's very possible everybody knows me in Slovenia and maybe even in Croatia. I don't know how many people really were involved in it, but tremendously, tremendously a lot of people. So it's a bad news for the people that would try to play with this. Very, very bad news. Her son, her son, I'm going to tell you what. Um, yeah, her son, her son is not from here. This is a very, very old MK Ultra area. Uh, her son, however, is somewhere in the area. Uh, is not from this area here. Because I remember he would, they would call him and he would come here from somewhere. But it's not gonna come to me right now exactly from where. But this, this is a very, very old MK Ultra area here too. Maybe sometimes if I go next here and I can talk to people whatever Okay, so I'm telling you right now, next time I'm going to ask, but I can tell you right now, the son, her son, she said she lives here in this village known as the Shent Lovrens. However, I will tell you, he does not live in the center of the city. He does not live in the center of the city. He lives a little bit out of the city somewhere. That I remember, because every time when I would come, they would call him, and then he would come. So my bet would be, in fact, here somewhere, something like that. 
Uh, what is this? I don't even know. What is this? No, no, Veliki Vidam. This Mali Vidam, I don't know. Let's see this thing here. Mali Vidam, Velika Loka. Shent Lovrens. Yeah, pa, then it's gotta be here somewhere, but it's not completely. Oh man. He was demonstrated me his house and everything. This is not even good what I'm doing right now. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna tell you. All right, so then you know what? I'm gonna tell you exactly where he is. Let me see this. Shin Florence, Shin Florence, tick, 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 tick. Okay. Uh, let me see if I get some. Something like this. Okay. Uh, he is somewhere out toward the forest. Something like this. High up. All the way up. Because if you go like this, if you look at this stuff here, right? You go down, you go down, you go down. This is the street I was saying earlier. Uh, so that he's got to be somewhere up here. He's got to be uh, something like this, da -da 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 -da, like that. Let me see this uh, quickly. This is like a little cowboy way I'm doing this stuff. Can I get any higher here? Okay, what I shouldn't be doing because this is about the main police investigating stuff like this. And look where the hell we are now. Here I took a little too further. Okay, let me demonstrate you. Da -da 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 -da. Dum, dum, dum. This, this, this. In, I would, I would go here, this, this area here. Okay. Um, this area here, this, this here somewhere. Something like this. I would say here this would be where his son is at here something like this and it says here St. Lawrence 24 uh, and the next time I'm gonna ask him the thing is everybody was involved but when it comes to her son he is somewhere up hills something like this and that you will go down to the main road yeah so my bad, the way I see it. I also remember the wife. The wife is Blondie. He's got a very beautiful wife. He is from this house here. There you go. Okay, so that's all there is. I don't want to waste my time more. Let's go. Boom. Um, <laughs> somebody interrupted here. Something interrupted the whole thing. So look at this. You see what this is? Boom. Look where we are. Can you imagine? This is another village. We I jump from one village to another village. It's 42 kilometers the distance between the two. And I pointed you the stuff like this. Okay. So. Yeah, I continue and I also tell about the family that he has. His wife is a blondie. is a very beautiful woman. He's got a very beautiful woman. Let me see this. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's just nothing else to say here. I, I already finished. There's nothing else to say. I did everything the way it's supposed to. What is impressive to me is that I was able to just go and boom. This is, and another one was Dolge. So check this out. These are two villages. <laughs> Look at the distance that I covered right now. From here, which is almost at the Croatian border. It's almost at the Croatian border right there. That's Croatia right here. Did you see? That's a border. And all the way here, which is kind of already close toward Ljubljana. The distance. Yeah, probably every village was involved in this stuff. Let's continue with this stuff. Let's continue. We got to do the stuff. Yeah. 
I said, so he is with his wife already since 2008. The thing is, I was not wrong. I did properly. He says, she says, however, only 11 years. Well, 11 years is a pretty decent time. 11 years back in time is like since 2011, and I stated 2008. But I don't agree with it. She says, the girl is already nine year old. Uh, and they knew each other about two more years before that. And I kind of adult. I kind of adult. Okay. The lady said, the lady says, the lady says basically since 2010, since 2011, I'm fine with it. I said 2008. That's fine. So the lady is surprised that I know all this information from somewhere. Really, from where the hell would I know this if it wasn't for her and her son? Um, I made a mistake. I can't do this without the map. I, I need maps. So I give her the wrong description of her house, what her house looks like in this uh, village known as Dorsch. I did not properly describe that. Uh, however, I did properly describe that this is an old house that only is, there's no, it's one floor. I tell her, listen, I don't even know where Dol she is. I need map to see it. She says, and then you don't know. No, she says, then doesn't it, then you don't know. But she says, then you cannot know. She says, you will not. I said, I need to see, I need to see the map. Now she's trying to trick me. Now the lady is a real detective. Now she wants to see. And she told me under MK Ultra, she said to me, under MK Ultra, she said to me, uh, this is going to be ultimate test. She had her way also. She also plays detective. And uh, she told me under MK Ultra, if you're going to fail this one, and uh, that's going to be the last thing we're going to do. But if you fail this one, then you don't know. But if you know this one, uh, then of course. Uh, and she's trying to to trick me on a family. She is talking in a such a way that most likely anybody that would be guessing stuff would say, uh, yeah, I remember your family or something like this in the city, in the, this village, Dorsch, where she's from. But I said, no, 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 I tell her. And she says, what? You don't have any family from what I can recall in this Dolch. That's very unusual because she's from there since from forever. It's where her mom, her dad is, her sister is from there. But I tell her, usually, here in Slovenia, where somebody's from, they have plenty cousins and sisters and everything around it, not only chickens. They would have grandchildren and uh, nephews and all kinds of stuff. Here in the village where I'm from, this is the way it is. It's everywhere like this. But in this case, I told her, no, 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 I tell her. Because she teach me about this. 
I wanted to know what is some family from her. She said, we never have one. We don't, we are the only one, we don't have a family here in this Doge. It appears everybody moved out. So I tell her, no, 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 no. When she tried to trick me, I tell her, but you don't have any family. You're the only one who doesn't have family in this village. And then she admits, then she, she says, yeah, then you are right. Then you do know me, basically. You recall, basically, events from MK Ultra. I wouldn't know anything about uh, this stuff if it wasn't for her and her son, yeah? So she also plays a little bit detective. She's also a little bit detective. She also wants to play a little bit detective. This is interesting. The way the way she tries the way she tries to trick me is really interesting. And the way she she's trying to catch me, it's like really really spectacular. I actually have to congratulate her because. I give the wrong description of how her house looked like in this village Doge. And the moment I do this, she starts to talk about her family. And so it would make one kind of a desperate, basically, would want to go and start to talk about the family or something like this to prove the point. But I do exactly the opposite thing. And I say, but from what I can recall, I tell her. You don't have any family inside of the village. There is no family of yours anywhere. We are in the middle of the village. Listen to this. We are in the middle of the village. There is houses around us, but we are in the middle of the village. Uh, do you know where the church is? She says, if I know where the church is. I tell her, I don't even know, lady. I tell her, I don't know where your village is. I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. I tell her, please forgive me, but I need map to see where your village is. This is all in my mind and my memory, basically. She says, and then there is no chance you would know. There is no, there is no chance, there is no chance, she says. Uh, she says, unless you would walk there, uh, or you would have some kind of relatives, Ah, that was a tricky one. Maybe then you would, you could. I could tell you. Otherwise, it will be difficult. She accents on family. On a family, on a relatives. Zlachta means relatives. And there is right there, I could tell you. Unless, basically, she says to me, in another words, according to MKH scenario, unless you fucking tell me right now, if I have a family or I don't have a family in this village, uh, I'm going to say that I never met you, basically. This is how she plays. And I said to her, you see how I pick her up? I said, you said a family... A family, you said. And she says, yes, yes. If you have some, uh, if you have some uh, uh, relatives, she says, yeah. I says, no, 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 I tell her. Just a moment, just a moment, I tell her, no, no, no. You know, when you said uh, uh, relatives, you know, when you said family, when you said the relatives, uh, if I can properly recall, I tell her. Okay. And she, she's like, yes, yes. Okay. 
So I finally get idea where she is at because I call, I say, this is next to store picture. This is yet another village next to that Dolj. In the middle of the nowhere, excuse me to say like this, it's a beautiful village, but this is distant. And she said, yeah, that is nearby there. And I said, now, when you said a family, right? And she says, yes, yes. You don't have any family, I tell her. You have no relatives whatsoever in the area, I tell her. And she says, she doesn't say yes, 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 but she says, no, no, I don't. And she's really, really happy that I pointed out she actually does not have a family anywhere near. So now, she impossible, she would say that we don't know each other. So I pointed out quite a few things about the lady and she's happy to say no, basically, that she doesn't have any relatives, any family in area. Yeah, so that's how you, that's done. I told her, that's one thing, I tell her. But you do have relatives. But you do have relatives some 14 kilometers from there. I told her, you do have some, some, but you do have a relative like 14 kilometers from there. Uh, she says, Slotnik, yeah? Uh, she says, no, she says, on the Slotnik, she says. I, even right now, I'm in front of the map here. I kind of feel that I'm correct. Slotnik. No, that would be too damn bad. Uh, Slotnik would be, Dolch would be Novel Mesto would be something like this. Okay, 14 kilometers really, really, really is not. Uh, Slotnik. But when you go through the hills, uh, it, it, it sure, it, it sure kind of feels like it is, you know. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. And, uh, that's actually quite close uh, to where I am from. And, uh, now that's exactly what I stated. That's another 12 kilometers. Okay. So, 12 kilometers and I have stated 14 kilometers yeah so uh, I'm gonna take credit for that one too yeah for saying that she doesn't have family anywhere in this uh, Dolch yeah uh, what I did now and that was not good okay okay let's do it again okay okay um no family in Dolch, no family in Dolch, but in slotnik that is exactly 12 kilometers and i stated 14 kilometers okay so that was good too that was very very good too let's see what else what is this here now Okay, at this point in time, I'm going to disconnect myself from the internet. Hopefully, this thing is still recording. Nice. And uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to close this babe down like that. Never mind. And we're going to try to do this. Yeah, 
Okay, uh, the lady is happy about how the things came out. I should be happy with this too, because I definitely did identify it. Uh, and her apartment inside of that building, and then I identified that she does have a sister. I pointed out her sister is 12 kilometer, her family basically from the place where she and her sister were born. I pointed out that at the place where she was born in this village known as Dolch, she doesn't have any remaining relatives, any family. I think I pointed out she has a son too. Uh, then I pointed out the year when her son met um, the year when the son met um, his future wife. She's a blondie, a beautiful girl. Uh, as 2008, I have mistaken for about two years, something like this. It was in 2011, around 2010, 2011. Uh, what else did I point it out? Uh, her son, a lot of other stuff. I have pointed out also the house, uh, something that is not verified, where he moved to this St. Lawrence, uh, yet something I'm going to verify next time. Uh, and he had a problem because he had to drive all the way to Novo Mesto for quite some time from this St. Lawrence at work. Uh, I remember this, and then he got this job. Uh, closer to him, somewhere in Trebnia, something like this. I remember all that stuff. This is guy that works in, uh, I think he used to work in a Renault, something like that. Uh, so you're talking about like a three year education, something like this, yeah? Uh, so I liked his uh, wife so much that I was not really nice to him. I would do anything to get his wife, to steal him his wife. Ah, that's another thing about all this stuff. What else can I tell you? I did some history a little bit about the lady, uh, her whereabouts, everything, who she is, how, and everything. Uh, and I'm definitely happy that I have met her. This is a very well-respected lady. Uh, what? I pointed out that she has a sister. Is this like anything else that I missed that I did? Okay. I'm going to put the audio in Slovenian language. Next, I'm going to extract... This is exactly on the same. Okay, and this is actually what I stated you earlier it will be. That's when I met an individual from the police, right at the police uh, station. No, it's the police station. And so basically, you see that I walk through the city, how I go, I walk, I meet people, I identify people, and I move on. I don't know how many recordings I still have. Uh, people already are unhappy because I don't put them online. I apologize. I met another lady. I have to put her online and so on. Uh, there's a lot of people have identified I didn't put online. Okay. Um, I got to do better than that. Uh, but this is basically the way it goes. This is not that this would be something out of nowhere. Uh, this is MK Ultra, and it's undisputable. Same day in the evening as I stop at the postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto. That's here. Novo Mesto. City of the Novo Mesto postal office.
in the evening hours as I stop at the postal office here in the city in the center of the Novo Mesto. And it's basically when this audio recording, I think, comes out. It's dark, it's 6.05 time in the evening now, but this is all November the 24. Lady that is standing right behind me who was involved in MK Ultra uh, have witnessed uh, together with me a, a lady that would walk inside, uh, leave the package over there, and then leave right in front of us. And I turn around and I tell the lady behind me, who was involved in MK Ultra, uh, the lady who just left the package right there in the window, was an attorney. She says that is correct. She's an attorney, yes? I said, uh, how good that I did not mistake in uh, you. She says, uh, she says, I'm not 100% that she is, but I think she is. The lawyer also was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, 
um, the lady at the postal office that stands right behind me, it's thanks to her that I know that the lady who dropped the package inside and walked right out was an attorney. Uh, she says, I'm not exactly sure, but she said, she says to me, I think she is. Uh, and we are both laughing and she signals me uh, in a way as I tell her uh, I think the two of you actually know each other personally and she says how is that I said due to some strange circumstances and uh, she says that is true and she's laughing we are both laughing she was the one who actually took me to this lawyer and it was year 2011 when the lawyer i don't know whether she changed the office for another law firm uh or she just changed the office i don't know what the case was but she took me to her because she needed a personal advice from her that's basically how it all works yeah so do you see what now mkl3 is how it operates that's basically how that's done i don't have anything else i would say to this this is mkl3 this is the way it works uh, you can see the date and you can see the time when I recorded, re-recorded this video and this time I have included some other proofs too uh, of the journey itself along the day as it was. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to, why not, I'm going to also put the audio from the lady that I interacted uh in Slovenian language, of course, which I interacted with uh, right at uh, in front of her apartment building. That's very, very important lady. Uh, very important people, I did. So, that's all for me to say. There was more people... Uh, more people identify, I didn't take advantage, but there's so many people I still have to put online and this and that. It's going to take me some, some time and so on and so forth. So now you got it. This is the video that is related to the police officer. He's one of the most abusive people uh, at this police station, Novo Mesto. It was a police director that appeared to me also was breaking his balls. Uh, but the thing about it is that this guy took it very, very, very personal. And uh, he was definitely certain that I'm not going to make it alive from this. He, he threatened and that, that threatened for sure was making sure that they were breaking my balls. They charged him to sit literally on my throat, this guy. Yeah. So that's the way it works. Thanks for watching this video till next time. Below I'm going to put also the audio of my interaction with, uh, with the lady too. Oh, um, there is a little bit more maybe left here. Okay. I tell her she changed the office in 2011 if I'm correct am I correct the lady says that I do not remember how long ago so she alone doesn't remember how long ago it was. And I remember when I was, she's subject to MK Ultra, I recall, but she doesn't. And it was 2011. It was, really was 2011.
Okay, this was just uh, in respect to some package that should arrive for me, this and that. That's why I was at the post office. That's all there is, folks. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.